Oftentimes, our connections with the people we love, especially our significant others, tends to get a bit rusty because we are not able to spend enough time with them. Well, this caravan, being a perfect fit for a family of two, is going to give you that one-on-one -on -one time. And the best part is that in case your itinerary does not go as per your plan, you at least have your partner and your home on wheels traveling with you anywhere and everywhere. Hello adventure lovers and welcome back to a brand new episode of A Walk Through the Conversion. This is your host Vidushi. If you're new here, Motum Adventures is a 25 plus year old company that rents and builds all things home on wheels and more. Ranging from a club on wheels to election campaign vehicle, food truck and of course caravans, motorhomes, RVs. You name it and we can most definitely build it. So back in 2022, when we were walking through our conversion Vagabond, which is India's first slide-in pop-top pickup caravan, we slightly teased this concept on Tata Yodha. Now here we are. Mind it, all these pickup conversions are accustomed to client specifications, meaning each differs in terms of the amenities that are in there as well as is unique to itself. Behind us is the star of today's show, in ancient Greek mythology, the term was used for something that provided prediction. In that case, it was goat skin, but here we have prediction in terms of a roof on our head or a comfortable home, which you can use to travel to anywhere and everywhere. Now, before I start nerding out about the name of the caravan, let's walk through this country. Painted in a gunmetal grey and black combo, Aegis is a single cab, flat bed, hard top pickup conversion. Which if you have been following us, you already know what it means. But if you are new here, first of all, consider subscribing because we are going to come up with many more fun conversion and travel videos in the home away home on wheels. Now a flat bed conversion, unlike a slide in conversion is where we remove the trunk of the asset and then create a flat bed surface according to the dimensions of the vehicle. A hard top conversion on the other hand is a permanent fixture in comparison to the pop top roof where you have the flexibility of increasing or decreasing the height as per your requirement. In fact, we have built both a slide in pop top caravan and a flat bed hard top caravan namely Vagabond and Domicile. And if you would like to see a detailed side-by-side -side comparison of the pros and cons of both the assets, let us know in the comments down below. Back to our exterior tour. So we haven't done any changes on the front fascia. If you want to offer one, you can offer a winch on the front. Moving on to the tires, we have 275-17 R16 tires. And apart from that, we have the standard lights on the top. Moving to the exterior shell, we have the fuel tank right here. Now, because the client demanded, we haven't changed anything in the existing cabin area. Moving on, this here is a small storage space on the co-driver side, where we currently have our power hookup, which again, the power hookup is used to connect from any external sources so that you can power your vehicle without turning on the engine. We also have extra space to store the camping equipments for two people. We have sliding window on both these sides. This right here is the inlet to our 275 liters freshwater tank. The fiber tank itself has been stored underneath the camper. And this right here is your back end for the bathroom area. If any malfunction happens in the bathroom, this is where you can rectify the issue at. Moving to the rear end of the camper. So the client mentioned how he wanted to have the two spare tires on display. So this is what we have done with it. We have a powder coated ladder, which you can use to climb on the top. We have the same lights, five on the front, five on the rear, and these ones as well. Apart from that, shining in bright orange color here is a 100 PSI 12 volt DC 
compressor. This one particularly it is an oil based compressor and it is going to be useful not only to function the shut off valve of your bathroom area but also to change the pressure of your tires depending on the road conditions. Now to the co-driver side. So we have our awning with powder coated hardware. You can use it when it's not shady like right now. Apart from that, this storage right here is where we have our batteries stored up. There are three batteries in total, two 100 AH batteries, which are going to be utilized for the caravan and one which is going to function for the vehicle itself. So this frame that you're seeing right here is a custom to client's requirement. He mentioned he wanted to have a frame wherein he can put the barbecue. So we have simply created this frame, placing this pole right in. You have a flat surface. This right here is the connection to the fresh water as well as gas. And here you have it, your barbecue setup right here. So before we enter the inside of this caravan, I actually want to discuss about this little detail here. This is termed as the departure angle and the front one is termed as the approaching angle. So during our discussion stage with the owner of Asia's, he mentioned how he wanted to only offer a four wheel drive and that he wanted to maintain the toughness, the sturdiness of the asset post its caravan conversion as well which is why we have created this little inclination here to a normal person like myself it is just going to look like a normal thing which has been done to improvise the design or to make it look cooler but there's a lot of math and physics that goes behind this and this is where the customization differs which brings me to the point that you can do as much of diy as you want to but some things are best left to a professional and now moving to the inside we have a grab handle a deadbolt lock opening the door we have our ladder now in most cases we either have a hitch staircase or a drop down staircase but here the client specifically mentioned that he wanted to have a foldable staircase or a foldable ladder so this is what we have provided unfolding it placing it here in we go so again i forgot to mention that this shell the complete shell has been made up using the auto grade aluminium it is eight feet long six feet wide and approximately six feet in terms of height as well the first thing that we have here is the power socket more switches and a changeover right underneath which we have our wardrobe now again this is a wardrobe area for two people if you have a huge luggage a huge suitcase you can simply place it right there and if you want to maybe put up your clothes and have it in a more organized manner simply bring up this panel lock it in place and off you go so again, a simple mechanism that we have used. It's very easy to use, very easy to place. And using that, you can simply organize your stuff. Same is the case with the wardrobe on the bottom as well. Moving on to the next area, which is a Motorhome Adventures staple, which again, if you have been following us, you already know that building bathrooms on wheels is in fact our USB all details related to the kind of bathrooms that we make and the technology that we use are going to be mentioned in the description box below moving inside Aegis bathroom so again roof the walls as well as the floor has been made up using reinforced fiber polymers the sink itself is made up of reinforced fiber polymers we have a towel hanger we have a soap dispenser we have a soap holder on the opposite side we have a complete shower area again this little detail has been customized as per the area that we have on the inside this is a louver window for ventilation purpose and lastly we have our commode area the technology that we use is pneumatic activating valve based technology the valve shuts off or opens 
using the pressure through the compressor that we had discussed before in the video. Now moving to our next phase which is the kitchen area. Whenever we post these compact conversions, we get a lot of comments from you guys stating how the bathroom and the kitchen area are always adjacent or opposite to each other. So we need to be mindful that we are working with a very limited space here and within that limited space to manage number one, the overall space that's in there as well as the weight distribution is a task of a hassle and for us to be able to do that the kitchen and the bathroom are always going to fall either on the opposite side or on the adjacent end and that is what you'll have to deal with if you're going for a compact conversion unless you want to opt for the kitchen on the exterior area now the kitchen in Aegis comes with a Korean countertop we have the FRP sink we have a powder coated faucet as well as a water filter so this water filter has been fixed right in here where we have our kitchen so we are again utilizing this overall storage space as well underneath that we have more storage spaces more drawers more drawers and a lot of storage this one right here is going to be storing your blast proof cylinder a 14 liter or even a 5 liter lpg apart from that on the top we have more cabinet spaces you'll notice how we have these holes on the sofa and this has been done because we have our 12 volt dc 35 liter fridge stored up in here you can have another fridge on the rear sofa storage as well So this is our seating space, again Aegis being a single cab asset is only supposed to cater up to two people because again this was client's specification. Before we speak about the final area which is our sleeping space, let's talk about the standard amenities. We have sliding windows on both the sides, we have blinds to cover up, we have an auto AC, a static AC, a hatch that you can open for cross ventilation. And other than that, you'll see that the complete roof design has been created using the same pine woods that we had used in our asset domicile. We have the same kind of profile lights here. Other fixtures such as this power socket, a USB charging port. The complete floor has been made using the vinyl flooring. This complete grey detail, these walls that you are seeing, these are all reinforced fibre and now moving to our final area which is the bedding space if you have seen our conversion domicile you already know how this bedding functions but i'll just show you so you'll see instead of using any kind of hardware we have used the woods itself and these have been intertwined creating a bedding area an expandable area which again you simply pull up so i am now going to climb on the top to show you the area that we have first up let's pull this mattress and here we have it again sleeping space pour one and sleeping space for two people. If you have seen our conversion domicile, you must be thinking that this area is a teensy bit tinier than that and that is because the overall dimensions of the interior differ by a lot. But that is for this walk through the conversion. And if you are interested in building or buying such caravan or any other kind of customization, Motorhome Adventures is at your service. And you can check out www.caravanconversion.com for any welding related assistance. And if you are dubious as to not wanting to purchase a caravan right away, then you can visit www.motorhome.co.in to rent a caravan. We have both self as well as chauffeur driven itineraries. We have both curated and customized itineraries available. So make sure to check that as well. 
We hope you like this conversion and the walk through this conversion. If you did, please don't forget to give this video a thumbs up. It really helps our channel. It really helps us grow in terms of the customizations because we know what you like and what you do not like. And other than that, subscribe to our channel for we will be posting many more fun conversion and travel videos in the home away home on wheels. Thank you so much for coming by. Motorman Ventures signing off.